Hello students, welcome to Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 10, Computer Networks. Content of this video is Internet Explosion and Growth of Computer Networking. Let me start. Internet is simply defined as World Wide Web Connection. That means www connection of individual networks operated by academic persons, industry people, government and private parties. That means www is simply called as internet and this is used by education persons. They are academic persons, industry people, government as well as private sectors also using internet yes we know without internet we cannot do many things nowadays as it's very very important today then uh, before then in pandemic we realized that internet is very important am i right in few years the internet built itself as a highly powerful platform that changed our way of life yes how it possible means one is mobile technology another one is social web so the internet along with the social web and the mobile technology changed our day-to-day -day life see let's see what are the impacts made by social web and the mobile technology in our life internet allows all to be democratic in mass media yes live session live debate everything video conference everything is possible through the internet anyone can have a web page in internet with very low investment yes being a individual or being a businessman we can have our own page in facebook or any other social media to propagate our ideas or a business similarly any business can reach a very large market directly economically and fast no matter of location or size of their business yes even there are many offices virtually that means they won't even have a building but they are promoting their business just using the web pages almost anyone that who can read and write can have access and a presence in worldwide web with a very low investment yes if they are no, they know to read english a little bit even though the people who can know their own language or own own regional language are able to create their web page because social media is now translating everything in their own re regional languages people everywhere can express and publish their ideas and opinions via blogging yes it's a healthy place to discuss many ideas so blogging also using to express their ideas so these are the impacts that I have done in our day-to-day -day life growth of computer networking the growth of computer networking is done because of the introduction of internet because as we know computer networking is a collection of computer or computer related devices how it is grown to global means because of the introduction of internet internet is a global network of computers linked by high speed data lines and wireless system so the worldwide communication through the computers networks is possible only because of internet so the communication between the computers are possible are passed through lines that means wired connection sometimes wireless connection because of the internet or the usage is by 15 million people 80 countries of people are using daily the internet and this is going to increase more than 300 million users in within five years so 
internet has become our part of our life even though it is having explosions there are some difficulties also there what are the difficulties increased competition yes google is step forward it's like a giant now but even though there are many providers service providers except google so there is a competition then installation cost from other broadband providers yes installation that means providing the infrastructure for the communication is having a heavy amount to be used or investment is needed 4g light mobile network has not yet reached yes 4g has not reached in many of the places even though 5g is in market uh, the advertisement for the 5g is coming nowadays what is the g generation generation of mobile networks that means the mobile transaction that data transaction using the mobile can have five generations like our computer generation in first generation 2.4 kilobytes of data are transferred per second in 2g generation 64 kilobytes are transferred per second in third generation it was 2 megabytes per second in 4g it is 100 megabytes per second in the 5g the expected thing is it should be more than 1 gigabytes do you remember now we are purchasing the internet card for per day 1 gb or per day 2 gb but they are expecting to transfer 1 gb of data per second so it is the expected speed of mobile trans uh, mobile data transformation development for the next generation 5g cellular communication technology is happening advertisement about the 5g efforts has come yes they are keep on investing on promoting or improvising the generation 2 fifth there is a important point in this regarding the mobile technology we must know what is artificial intelligence ai will help to maintain manage and protect the network problems there is a set of algorithms which are created with the technology of artificial intelligence that is going to maintain and manage and protect the network problems what is network problem while the data is communicated from one place to another place there are many lot of problems that that means the data should be transferred in a particular protocol that is maintenance and if there is any problem that is the traffic network traffic problem then it should be managed then it should be protected from others so these things are handled by artificial intelligence algorithm now the networks are monitored by algorithms that enables for anomalous build up of traffic and activity which may be the result of nasty activities such as do ddos distributor denial of service attacks and attempt hacks hacking we know that hacking is taking us taking someone's account without their knowledge or using their account or opening their account details without their knowledge that is hacking here there is another attack said to be denial of service attack denial of service what is denial of service imagine then uh, there is a bank then there is a person who is collecting the amount to deposit okay then there is a long queue each person will go to that person and give their uh, chalan filled one by one why they are standing one by one means that task 
should be done one by one because that person has to col- the cashier has to collect the amount and has to fill the detail this particular amount is has to be go to that particular account number person am i right so it should be done one by one consider that at a time 10 people are standing to deposit the amount what the cashier will do he will simply say come in a line or else i will not deposit that is denial of service so distributor denial of service means it is attacking that means disturbing the person not to do the work in all the way the attack is coming in a number of huge then the server will not and so for anything it will remains silent or sometimes we'll say the server is busy sometimes it is labeled as it is crushed because it doesn't know what to do so it will happen so this base of attacks are made many times so this artificial intelligence is maintaining the network from this or protecting the network from the distributed denial of service imagine there is a person and he is communicating to the server but this is not done because of the attack done by the ddos it will pass a message to the person as well as to the server and makes and make the person not to communicate with the server This artificial network powering algorithms will become most intelligent. It might find faster and reliable methods of anticipating threats and cleaning networks. Artificial intelligence will be able to predict traffic as it collects and analyzes data in real time. Yes, artificial intelligence is a playing an important role in protecting and managing these things. in network field so we have seen what is internet explosion okay then we have learned the growth of computer networking 10.2.1 and 10.2.2 so these sections are covered in this video i hope you understood the concept it's purely theoretical concept see the video slowly and understand it thank you have a good day